Alright guys, so back with another quick video. Like I said, don't be surprised if today is just an, a crazy upload day between an hour or two. <laughs> so Clinton just dropped this about not too long ago, so he just put it this, alright? So rather than delaying this update further, I've made a tough decision to take the previously teased bandits for this update and roll them over to the next update so they can be properly balanced and fleshed out. When I was talking to one of the few people that are, you know, pretty cool with Clinton and Am and Pwn, he said the reason being is because the sync is a little too bad to be put into the game. It doesn't matter if you're a multiplayer or not, it's just that the way he moves and you know you just don't want a freaking mob shooting at you and he's somehow shooting you even though you're behind like cover or you're far away so yeah it's kind of best that, that he does that okay we don't want to have like a thousand complaints about yo the bandit just killed me and i'm like ten thousand feet away how's that possible so yes clayton knows what's best i always said take your time on it and you know do what you gotta do the other thing is the items adding crafting recipes for the new x terminator reactive and x terminator mesh adding new crafting materials volatile hide and blueprints for the above armor all zero strength required armor now gives players five percent which we knew snowman heads all variants spawn and snowflakes around you dark pumpkin heads now give off amber so as you guys know snowman heads and all the dark pumpkin heads are pretty much going off the charts in the marketplace someone selling for 25 mil 28 mil just because it has that cool little cosmetic all right uh pretty much it's a little animation when you have it on and it just basically shows off that you're flexing with this new item and it's just cool to see in the inner city wasteland the level requirement now was reduced from 75 from 100 which i did tell in my previous video very quickly uh it was reduced and honestly it's pretty good because that way you can come in with other players that are not in the 100 level range and you can even go with your clan Force PvP and Force Multiplayer has been removed, which is also great. I hate fighting over other players. Soldiers, police officers now stand guards. Entrances for second number scientists, which I'm figuring they're, they're trying to say, yo, this is brand new to the inner city. We're trying to take, you know, kind of give the inner city a bit of a story. So the right shield zombies, as you can tell in my video, it doesn't matter if you have a Wraith Cannon or Sniper, they will block that bullet. All right, so it's best to go around or get a grenade launcher and just blow them up. Harvester, Reaper Variation Sprints, Long bar Vertical Stab Attack, and Attacks Track Player Movements. So what that means, this one that people are getting confused by, is, is the fact that when he fights, or when he fights, when he attacks you, his hit actually kind of becomes a magnet toward you. It's just not in one spot. It actually follows you, like his slice follows you when you move around him or behind him or anything. So you got to be very, very careful. On top of that, I saw a picture of someone with like, you know, max endurance and like a vengeance guard. It, it destroyed his vengeance guards in like one hit and he was left with like 50 health. I don't know, dude. It's just, it's basically a one shot if it hits you. So be very careful out there, guys. The volatile leaper, which has yet not been introduced yet. Cross toward you at high speeds, invulnerable to a knockback when attacking, explodes in AOE, explodes blonde death, drops crafting material for next armor. So I'm pretty sure this guy's going to be the reason why you're going to have to find him for the armor, which is going to be annoying. But I did read somewhere he's as fast as a black titan, which shouldn't be that annoying because you know yes we do have the aggro that's always around you and in back of you and it's just annoying but if you have no aggro for this boss it should be fairly easy on top of that you can easily you know trap him now in the little spots we have in the wasteland you can now barricade in the wasteland which is a very good thing because i love looting trailers in the wastelands now have a chance to spawn a loot or a loot spot or two trailers in the wastelands are now one door barricades most smaller props can be shot through now we're just double attack hit bot so yeah they were telling me this as well on my server when i was fighting that thing they're like yeah honestly armando it's not your fault it's just that when the devil hunt attacks is somehow just i don't know gets stuck to you and then when it spikes it somehow still hits you so clinton said he has worked around this which i hope to but even then i'm still not gonna fight it because my 44 percent extra speed boost cannot keep up with that thing but hey we're gonna give it a shot guys waste them when i cycle through fog and rain brother effects which i kind of did notice as well when i was running around i was like wait a minute did it just get a little more brighter here or what also, as most of you guys have noticed, NPC occasionally spawn on boss blocks to help lower level kill it. You can now shoot through players when PvP is off. You can cycle through weapons with score reel. Okay, I thought we could always do that. Hmm. Zed balancing. Greatly decrease how often random aggro spikes occur. Thank you very much. Bloodhounds no longer spawn until just after the Prison 13 4 passer. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. They freaking spawn in the green zones? <laughs> green rumblers and flesh hound spawn rates have been halved. Green rumblers, wow, now have a green fume effect around them. Oh. Irrad irradiated rumblers and long arms are brighter thank god because dude, when you get them bloody you can't tell who's you know a regular black rumbler and a, and a bloodied up green rumbler uh, blood overlay texture for low health that can be made more transparent level design and prop changes you can shoot through the wheelchair props now okay you can also added experimental physics on the wheelchairs this won't sink over multiplayer yet the top right court has been opened up in the military arena awesome Remove doorways to access bunk interior stairs so dealing with aggro is easier. 
opened up the barricaded room on the second floor of the bunker interior cool open up the holding cells on the second floor of the bunker interior open up the second holding area cage on the third floor of the bunker interior added more doorways to move through it in the hospital interior to improve loot run flow redesigned some of the rooms in the hospital interior for variety and holding cells and police stations are now open so the loot that we always used to see back in the day when we were like yo admin stop trolling us they're all open and supposedly there's no more like blockades blocking you from you know losing your momentum in terms of looting or running away from aggro there shouldn't be a you know a problem when looting now so again for looters gruders is a big one for us settings ui opening a menu which is i love takes five seconds instead of ten closing a menu longer draws aggro to you which is whoa that was a big one go members now have a go name above their heads oh wow that is interesting that's cool clan names and player names have been made a little brighter to be easier to read players that share a clan with you are now cyan to the mini map if they have pvp off toggling pvp on timer has lowered from 30 to 10 seconds toggling pvp off timer have been okay so if you're turning it on 10 seconds turn it off 50 seconds toggling pvp on has been changed to bright orange instead of yellow and pvp being toggled off is now dark orange cool enlarged minimap now shows a list of players in your instance when in multiplayer enlarged minimap coordinates now update real time and was rev and was reverted back to the server position numbers enlarged minimap text now changes to the tray zone name in the inner city or arena's name if you're in the arena I added a bunch to the main menu for instance following and thank god because for example when i press f2 that was the old one you know for me f2 is to record don't ask why i know it's kind of stupid but it's just how it is so you know i have to basically press it twice so i can record again so this is cool target fps cannot be lowered to 30 fps tags and chats was removed next to players names instead crosshair animation has been moved to the setting menu it's a thing change instance use soft user cap from 8 to 12. i guess that's what happened when i did my uh my little you know <laughs> live stream you know I, I wish it was it wasn't capped so much but if it if it kind of increased it i think i'm going to do another um you know uh open pvp giveaway <laughs> changes is now favorite since with more people in them wow changes is now favors players on your body buddy list so if you're my buddy list but the changing changing instances now favors players on your buddy list so if you're my buddy list and i add you and i want you to be an instance it's gonna you know you're pretty much gonna be in my instance which is gonna be awesome bug fixes zombies as despawn while critical hit with the blood overlay will now respawn with the blood overlay zombies should spawn inside objects less often fire particles effect should now be the appropriate sound volume based on your settings when loading a new area yeah i kind of remember that thing that would blast my ears i'd be like damn dude another attempt at fixing the loot marker position on the map for enemies that die with tons of knockback fixed the house occasionally causing security errors leaving the large mini map open when transitioning areas should no longer occasionally disconnect you from multiplayer Fixing a bug that caused starvation damage not to apply in the inner city. Oh, so if you're in starvation, <laughs> okay. Should you get more FPS and fewer or less pain impactful hitches while playing. Loading areas is a lot more snappy. Disco rich displays your arena, your area, and in-game coordinates. Nice. Wow. It displays if you're in a single player multiplayer and how many players are in your instance. Whoa! It displays if you're in an opposite attack. Big thanks to Admin and Barney for helping me with this update. Wow. So, so if you're in Discord. It Discord is only feature on the standalone client. Also, if you're in Discord as an administrator, you will need to also run. Okay, so that's a lot of things to put on. So there you guys have it. Again, I don't want to talk too much about it, but a lot of things have been fixed, making the game more playable, more enjoyable. Of course, he's still working on the new update. It hasn't been fully out. Give us some time, guys. I mean, I want to fight the Black Leaper. That's one of my few goals here in Death Frontier now. But when it comes out and I and he spawns, I'm gonna go for it. Okay. I mean, he's gonna one-shot you. He's a leaper. <laughs> Just be careful. But yeah, Sabani's so signing out. I'll see you guys very soon. Take it easy. Bye.